fishy in the little bucket. That's a good fish, that. I'm going to microwave some halibut and I'm boiling up some cabbage. Covered my halibut with microwave, a little safe wrap, put it in the microwave, and I'll put it in there for four and a half minutes on high. And now after that's up, I'm going to pull this off. This looks like it's cooked. Next what I'll do is I'll take the halibut fillets and you can see it's flaking apart here. So it's cooked all the way through. Set it on a plate here. Here's a couple Yukon gold and red potatoes from my garden this year. Microwave these for four minutes and then two and a half minutes. Next I put five small onions from my garden in here. These are about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. Maybe two and a half inches. I'll put this in there for another three and a half minutes to four minutes to soften these onions up. Cover these and put these in. I had to put those in there for another two and a half minutes so that the onions were cooked all the way through. I'll put it into about one inch squares. Put those in with my potatoes. Take a slice of my cabbage. After placing the halibut in there, I put the onions on the top. And then after it's covered with a nice amount of cheese, put that back in the microwave and I'll put that in there for about two and a half minutes, three minutes till that cheese is melted. And three minutes later, two thirds melted. I use for seasoning is Tony Chachere's Krell seasoning. I put a fair amount of this because it's fairly thick so that when it gets scooped up that'll get mixed in. 